It's the great debate. It's Anna to Armas versus Blake Lively with the master, sensibly cynical. We're going to do this. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it now. Here it comes. All right, that's right. We've set well, we didn't set this up. Sensibly <laughs> cynical sent this up. So this is not our show. This is not our show. This is your show. Please, sensibly, let us know what are we talking about today. We are talking about the one, the only Blake Lively. Forget about the other. Nope. Oh, hold on. Let me switch that. the screens here. I have <laughs> I have all about Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds for kids. And I have a whole paper on why you. Oh my are. gosh, you have like a theory. Uh, you have like a whole thing. Yes, a whole thing, a whole thing. She is. Uh, I wouldn't say she's like the skinniest chick, but no, that's what she, that's, her pussy's that's what, been stretched. Oh, but that's kids. what makes her. Hold up. What? No, no, he's saying that she her she's been stretched out. I'm surprised she didn't walk straight at this point. Oh but my what I'm, god. But what I'm saying is she has a um diverse portfolio. Um, she has a keen sense of morals, <laughs> which Anna yeah. Armas has not yet explored. She doesn't yeah, know she's what done all is. different kind of roles. What didn't she have a sex scene in um in Savages? So uh, has, she did, has Anna she Armas, as as I'd like to. Did Anna De Armas have a sex scene yet? Uh, Are you like kidding 15 me? Fifteen million of them. First off, Blake Lively doesn't show her tits anywhere. Anna <laughs> De Armas shows her tits left, right, and center. Okay, she's been okay. Let's just hear how she's been throwing it around. She's been with Keanu Reeves. Hmm. She's been with who Blake was the guy Lively? in Blade Runner? No, I'm talking about Anna De Armas. Anna De Armas was not with Keanu Reeves. Yes, yeah, she was in Knock Knock, dummy. Oh, in movies. Okay, all right. In movies, we're talking about the <laughs> fictional characters. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. okay. Anna De Armas was in Knock Knock. Yep. She was in what's the Blade Runner movie? Blade Runner 2049. Uh huh. So she was with uh, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Mm. She's been with uh, Ben Affleck. Yep. I mean, she's been around the block and more. Hold on, me, Blake me Lively is wholesome. Get this. All right, much better. <laughs> yeah. Well, Blake, I don't know Blake anything Lively about... Has a wholesome. <clears throat> See, I don't know anything about Anna de Armas on purpose. Why don't the you? The contrast. She's Cuban. All I know... All absolutely that, all beautiful. I know, all I know is that, yeah, she's cute, but she's not American. Like Blake, like you guys know most of your. <laughs> hold on, all right. you guys know most of your listeners are from America, right? Blake Lively we, is the all no, American. No, we are America? the official podcast of the Netherlands. No. first of all, no, Blake you, you, Lively. This is America. Is Guns all, in our area. Is, what do you mean? <laughs> Blake Lively is the all American next door, literally <laughs> next door, female. Backdoor. Yeah, and then see, here's what Americans saw. They're like, mm, Blake Lively's okay. Let's ship a good, better one over from Cuba, make her legal, and then have her tits so, out more. I mean, Cuba might as well as be the United right. States. So let me talk to you about different roles that that Blake Lively has done. Okay, this is how diverse she can play almost okay. any character. She's been a sorority chick. She she's really been a can't. widow. She's so you're saying she's a, a better hippie. actress? Yes. She's more diverse. So That's she played a diverse. retard. Got more it. shit. <laughs> She's been in more yep. shit. Okay, so rule one. What did she, didn't she Continue. didn't she hook up with the Green Lantern? I mean She was retarded she... in that too. <laughs> she was the love I'm interest. So, I'm she was an heir. She was a fire pilot in the Green Lantern. A retarded one. Uh-huh. <laughs> she no, she's attractive. But she plays like Man. the Danzel dumb Danzel girl next the, door. The, the, no, the she stretch. was in that shark movie and she totally kicked that shark's butt. She kicked that shark's I butt. I literally did not pay attention to a word that was said other than she's in a bikini and she's hot. And she kicked that shark's butt. Yeah. So, that that was a good movie where she Anna Armas did not kick any shark's butts. She should though. She's waiting for it. Blake and Lively, she's a little Blake, bit older, isn't she? Uh Blake Lively is one year older. 
She's thirty. Blake Lively. Oh, is, is she? She's one year older than Anna Darmus and four yeah, kids Blake wider. Is, oh my and, god! Four kids but wider. does Anna Darmus? Does Anna Darmus design cupcakes? Blake Lively loves the cream. Okay. Uh, oh my god! Uh, Anna Darmus loves dressing like Marilyn Monroe. First of all. And, and I would say if she can satisfy Ryan Reynolds, why can't she satisfy you, Blake Lively? I know you guys were disappointed when I said my cat's name was Jenna before we started. <laughs> we not, do need and to not, know more and about not Blake. And not, and not Blake. She's crazy. That does I seem gonna... weird that you, you do have an obsession you with Blake You need a second Lively. cat, and your second cat's name needs to be Blake. Okay. Or whatever the shark's a, name I didn't, was. I didn't want to. I didn't want a neutral gender like cat name. I wanted like people to know that she. Are was, you think like, your cat's going to transition? No, like, but Blake is through? Blake like, is a male and female name. I doubt that Jenna is a male name. I don't know. You never be. know. It's twenty twenty three. Who knows what happens today's now? Day and age. For all I know, Marilyn is a yeah. is a gender neutral name. That's why you got to. So, like, did you see? What was that movie by Anna de Armas? What was that movie that we watched that was that was absolutely blonde? Yeah, did you watch Blonde sensibly? No, I don't know anything about this girl. That's what I was about to tell you. I you didn't you guys, see did Blonde? You... No, I don't I'm, think. I'm... Have you seen one thing with her in it? Have you seen no. a single movie with Anna de Armas? No. You will fall in that's love with why, her as soon as you do. That's why I want you guys to start listing your reasons why. She's hotter than Blake Lively. I know you have some reasons. First of all, she was she's Cuban. She first of all, she's Cuban. Okay. Second of all, she played Marilyn Monroe. No, the ultimate knockout. What? She's the, no. the she's, blonde she's bomb. She's one of the least attractive ones in Marilyn Monroe. She was fully naked. Man. All you need. <laughs> all she you is hot is though. James she is Bond definitely hot. That oh my god. Okay, here is she. Here's the difference. Blake Lively was not a Bond girl. Anna de Armas was a was a Bond girl, and I'm gonna say like that Bond dress was pretty. Uh, the, the, the twenty minute scene she was in James Bond was the best twenty minutes of that movie. I'm I, I will research. Okay, but it who's here. had uh, who's had the most work done? I don't uh, think Anna de Armas has had any work done. I don't think Blake Lively's really had any yeah, work done either. No, very like natural girls. Ay, ay, ay. If you could only see, okay, I need you to Google Anna de Armas in James Bond and tell me. All right, that, all right, I'm gonna. That, that I'm, is not. I'm doing it on my. I'm doing it on my phone because I don't want to add the second, the screen on this Zoom. It's pretty spicy. It's it's pretty like that spicy. movie in general was hot garbage, but this part was quite delicious. Why is there a car commercial? I need more added armis. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. He's like, All right. I heard it. Oh, like oh. oh. <laughs> I, I here's okay. the difference. Here's the big difference, though. All right, <laughs> you're like, all right. okay, I I get where you're coming from. <laughs> she was a Bond girl. Yeah, bro. but but um. But Should Blake Lively's Blake more Lively Blake Lively's more um voluptuous than no, I'm a tick, I like him I'm small a, and perky. I'm a tick I'm a tick guy, so you know. Oh um, my god. She only has big tits because like she's had four kids and the fucking nipples are probably sagging to her knees at this point. <laughs> okay, but, I'm yeah, a boob but if guy. you're thinking if you're thinking long term investment though. Anna de Armas is uh, one year younger. Go. That's not that long. No, no, no. I'm talking long term investment in the in the fact that like, if if you were to catch them in their, in, <laughs> I'm going to get cancer for this. In their infancy. Age. In their infancy. No, no, no. When you get, if you were to date them and be like, I would love to marry you and have children with you. Clearly. Blake Lively is like, I will give you four beautiful offspring. And Anna de Armas, she, uh, she's not discovered the beauty that is being a mother. Yeah. And and well, for Blake Lively to recover after four children and to be, you know, she's beautiful. It helps beautiful. when you have millions. 
It, she's, st- she's still personal still trainers and such. able to be a beautiful woman. At, she was always beautiful, but continue to be beautiful as a mother. Mm-hmm. I think that's, in fact, if you look at Ryan Reynolds dating history, mm-hmm. he was looking for that partner that would be the mother of his children. And he found who he was looking for. He just for. wanted a cum dumpster that would just spawn yeah, him children. He, yeah, he had the what? chance that Scarlett Johansson was like, here's bastards everywhere. And then here, and then, and then you have Alanis Morissette who was like, I'm not going to have a kid until She's I'm in Canadian, my forties. Right? Who? She's yeah. Canadian. Who? And Alanis Morissette. Yes. She because, doesn't count yeah. as a person. Yeah, but he was dating all these girls, and he was looking for the beautiful mother of his children, and he found it in Blake Lively, and I think that is what makes her special. The all-American, you know, sorority chick. Yeah, she's all she's American. Yes. No, but Anna Darmus has. He uh, wanted oh, his green card. Sorry, Blake, you saying he wanted Blake his Lively. green card? Blake Lively is American. He yeah, wanted she, the girl well, next door. Ryan Reynolds wanted his green card. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what Ryan Reynolds was looking for was his here's green the thing. card. Here's here's the thing. Anna de Armas, all her photos look photoshopped. I, I mean, promise you. Not all you. She's look, not. I didn't say word. I said look, door. If you look at Blake Lively's, she had a she had a photo She's a real shoot girl. done. She she had a photo shoot done the day she learned she was pregnant. Okay, she that she gives zero okay. fucks. What you, she looks you don't like. show until you're like four that's attractive. In, so Anna, that's attractive. Anna de Armas hasn't had the joy of uh, childhood yet. She hasn't had any kids. What's what's that commercial that she did? Is it Versace or is it Louis Vuitton? No, um, Louis Vuitton. Estee There's Lauder? a commercial that she does that's gonna knock you out of Estee your Lauder? socks. I'm gonna show my cat dad um, for your listeners. What yeah. uh, what is the commercial that she did that was perfume like, commercial or something? What is this one? Gl- Milan? No, I don't think Negroni. It's yeah, it's Negroni. Hold on, I'm getting there. She did a Negroni commercial where she plays several characters. And it's basically James Bond. Yeah, but it's also pretty uh, like, ay ay ay. I'm just saying yeah, I like look them. at the Negroni I, commercial. She's like one of the few girls in the world who can pull off the full um chest window dress. Right? I uh, yeah. I mean and not that she's she's not as well endowed as Yeah, that's what, Blake that's why I like Blake Lively because you know, I like them uh you big know, old tigums. Yeah, yeah, big old biddies, yeah. Are we? <laughs> and look, we are not misogynists. We we this are entire episode is like a <laughs> misogynist. No, it's, it's, not. it's talking it's about a raging commercial line. for feminism. It's a raging line. commercial for what? Feminism. Misogyny. Yes, it is because no, I'm gonna we're, have we're to edit the. I'm one. gonna have to edit the fuck out of it, my version. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Oh my god! Uh, it's, hey, hey, for anybody listening, we're not. Make sure you anything. subscribe. No, I too I sensibly I'm, cynical. And you will get the edit edited, much. the clean version. Yeah. Here no, you get the I, unedited, uncensored version. Yeah, the full color version. Full color version. Yeah, we're not. But we uh, in all honesty, here. in all honesty, I appreciate you guys having me on after your show. You got noob looks like he's about to pass the fuck out. No, <laughs> I'd rather be sleeping in your arms. So, <laughs> me or you been lifting, cats. bro? You you look pretty swole right now, bro. Oh yeah. fuck you! Yeah. Oh my god! You, you look you're like looking... you're benching a solid like bro, seventy-five. Bro, pounds. I just did. I just did. I just did. I just did. Um, sixty-fives on the uh, dumbbell bench press, which oh, is like the equivalent yeah. to like, which is the equivalent to like two hundred, like real. Pounds. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, sh- you are uh, wearing can that we golf see that right arm gun. Let's no, see you it. can't. I want to see it again. <laughs> oh. What All do right. you mean, dude? You look this? great. Oh, mine or his? Absolutely great. No, you look no, amazing. Clearly mine. No, he looks like clearly a hairy mine. Ape. I'm Anna Armas here. In this, <laughs> no, in this no, 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 no. <laughs> Although, if you are looking for someone to marry, I think sensibly is the way to go. I don't understand why your mug 
always looks like it's blurred out. How is that a thing? No, I have the blur- I, I have the mine- blurry. I have the blurry filter where everything behind you is oh, blurry. You can okay. you can put that on Zoom as like a setting, bro. It's because I have because I oh, have the because I, uh, I have the couch from the back room uh, bangers. On- <laughs> I'm oh my kidding. Gosh. I don't. I don't. If my mom's listening, I do not have that. So what what was your you had like an entire schizophrenics fucking worksheet of why show us your worksheet. Why Blake Lively? I did. Hot. I went down I went down on most of this. All right, do you want me to read Was it verbatim? all tits? Was the entire list yes, tits? Yes, we want to see her your Life? it's like tits. Okay, I'm gonna tits. read from top. I'm gonna read from top to bottom. All-American girl, Blake Lively, 35, um, honest, diverse portfolio. I said that. She um, cup- designs her own cupcakes. I mean, that's fucking awesome. He and does like cupcakes. I do like cupcakes, yeah. It's cream. The cream filling, you know. Vibe. Oh, my God. That's I would buy Blake Hold Lively's on. cupcakes and eat them off hand and arms. Hold on. You guys want <laughs> – I, I, I have way more. Keep Life going. Insta- Life in Style Mag calls Blake Lively an all-around perfect human. She, she seems a like a very shoot. sweet human being. She she did a bikini shoot the same day she learned she was pregnant. That's all right. And I like curvy chicks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only thing and, I'll say, Anna Ar- Armas. And she has her own non-alcoholic drink line for a new no well i mean if she's <laughs> pregnant and wants to drink no she has I, okay, her own I'll line like, it. it's, like she has her own she makes like a shitload of money it's called betty buzz i never heard of it but well i mean now. if you've been pregnant for the past like four years straight because you're popping out Ron Rose just won't stop blasting semen or... he will not stop blasting baby batter into her so hold on, Z. I want to admit. talk about. I want to talk more about this Green Lantern character that you said that you didn't seem interested or like her in Green Lantern. Did you? No, she's okay. She she's was Carol. Right. I she mean, was Carol Ferris. Little too much clothes for me, but still. <laughs> I'm supposed you to believe talk that about she's that? Like did the... you guys? Did you guys talk about Green Lantern on your show? I'm pretty sure this is before we yeah. even were born as a show. <laughs> we well, might, y'all been around we may be uh, we may be accused of being bigots and boomers, but we're not that. I mean, he's 59 years old. I am, but I'm not time. that old. He's 59, almost 59 and a half. Yeah, except I have lesbian hair. You have no hair. Who do you think's so, older, me or Blake Lively? Sismo. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You look like you could be in a retirement home. So, me, I he's 50. I mean, he's 50. Like, I'm just man. short like, in, in terms. I'm just short. Into, how short? Like five, six. Oh, ah! you're not five, six. He's gonna rip you because he's five, like six. six foot two, six foot three. You're not you're five, not six. six foot three. I am. I am six foot three. You carry yourself all you're of five, five foot, foot nine. six. Yeah, I'm five, six. Oh my! You're like almost a legal midget. Like what? Why do you think I've done all the short jokes? Holy shit! Five foot six. It's my mom. Oh, it's my mom. Oh. It's my mom. It's my mom's fault. Is your mom don't like three this, foot this, tall? Don't let this guy make fun of you because he, he carries himself all five, of five six foot. Is, like five 10. six isn't even that short. What do you mean? Five it's not six? That you can't. Short. You can barely ride a fucking like hundred foot roller coaster. What all are you right, talking about? Five all right, six. New, uh, if you went right, to Hershey new. Park, you'd barely be allowed on the kids' rides. What new, are you talking about? Let's talk. Who has better facial features? Okay. Oh, you there wanna, we go. You wanna, you who wanna does start, better face? You want to start because his shorts are doing better than your shorts. Yeah. Why don't Why don't we take off the hat? Who let's has Who has underneath. better Who has better muscles? Look at him. Guns. Yeah, you got guns. Okay. I may not. I may guns. not have height. I may not have height, but I have other shit. Yeah, you ask him about his. He does like quote unquote a hundred push-ups a day. A hundred push I do like two hundred. He still looks a like a lesbian woman. First off, let's 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 break this down. Can we see the I'm, lesbian hair again? I'm basically no. 
I'm basically like <laughs> Zeus because I'm an Olympic god. Uh, where and I'm basically are... like Danny DeVito. Yeah, Danny. Danny. Yeah, so it's no, easier. Do not admit that to it, him. It is easier for you to to build muscle mass because you are a tiny person, lower to gravity. So I am tall, like Jesus, and obviously it's hard for me to build muscle. Flowing hair, it's hard. He has a how lesbian tall are you? Jesus uh, haircut. How tall are you, Z? He is easily five foot five. <laughs> no, he's not. He's like five eight. Have you ever Have you ever seen the game Pigman? <laughs> like those fat, tiny little round things. He's oh. that. Who's Who's more? Hold on. Let's get back to the subject at hand before we lose even more listeners. <laughs> who Who would you have a din? Who would you have a dinner date with? An artist, Blake Light. Like F a dinner Mary date Kill? where you actually get to talk to them. And Darmus. Yeah. What has she done that? I, I would need to confirm she's that stupid. Like I would just need to know. <laughs> I would say. Well, you have a, you, a little, what would you do? Like print out Z. What would you do? Print out a fuck or a new? What would you do? Print out a fucking questionnaire and hand it to her. Absolutely like, not. I'm just fill this my out. Dick on her shoulder. And be like, oh, let's make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, uh, You're Cuban, so you like chorizo. Let's make she it. She does live. She she is smart because she lives in Vermont. Let's see what else? Who? Oh yeah, uh, what else is on my bought... list. She was. She does she was, seem super. She was stupid, young. <laughs> she seems super stupid. She allowed herself to be I'm abused at my by list. the director of Blonde. Blake Lively. She was, was basically young. Young Pippa. Blake Lively was young. Oh, Pippa. All I have to say is. Uh, Sensibly, watch Blonde on Netflix, and Anna <laughs> Armas is either topless or completely naked in every single scene. And, it's a horrible uh, movie for someone to convince you gotta... her to be that. She didn't even win an Academy Award for it. She was but literally naked in every single scene and doesn't win an Academy Award. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. You got to appreciate my research. No, Blake Lively. I I love Blake Lively. I'm not... I, I I'm telling you, if I was gonna, if you're gonna marry someone, I think it's Blake Lively. No, I, she it, it clearly and produced beautiful children. She's barren. She has no children. Ben Affleck couldn't even put her his own demon seed in her. Ben Affleck didn't want to. Then that does that not signal bad things for you? You cannot put demon seed in I would an like, Within two seconds, I'd put them in. I'm pretty sure you're <laughs> infertile. This is doesn't matter. I would. You're 59 and a half, and you have not had a single child. The amount of gumption I would just shoot into her. A, a gumption does not equal children. You're incapable of reproducing. Yeah. So for you, in my decision, for sensibly, my choice is Anna. Not Anna. It's Blake Lively because she will provide you. With the family that you need, Anna de Armas is barren. Beautiful, but barren. Would you call no, her Anna super? Would you call her? Barren. Would you call her superficial or not that? Not that. No, Anna de Armas is the perfect girl next no, door. No, she seems like a very sweet girl. A very she does. Sweet okay, I don't being. know. Yeah, I was gonna. I was She's gonna do not research on her, to... but I was like. If I do research on Anna de Armas, it wouldn't make for good uh, podcasting. No, she see like from all the interviews that I've ever heard of her, and she doesn't speak great English, but she's a she's a very sweet girl. She doesn't mean harm to anyone. I feel like Hollywood is evil. I wish her the most beautiful family that she can have. I hope she finds somebody nice. She's dating like the head of Tinder now, which seems like a really what? bad idea. Yeah. I hope she Tinder? finds somebody like way better. It's like, if you had, to, I think that's ultimately what ruins her. She's dating the head of Tinder where Blake Lively has four kids from Ryan Reynolds. Like, can you wait? Like, Who's winning the genetic lottery? It's Blake Lively, hands down, end of story. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Anna de Armas may be beautiful, but the genetic lottery. Are you giving me the Blake victory? Lively I think you, I think, no. I think if it comes to. Sensibly easily wins. No. Easily. Anna de Armas wins. <laughs> no. The I only loser both... in all of this is Noob Noob. Yeah. <laughs>
What do you mean? I'm like a solid foot and a half taller than you, so I think I win all the time. No, you're easily the loser of all of this. I think if I stood up, you could blow me standing up. I'm pretty sure, like, <laughs> me. even in our video screens that here, Noob Noob looks the smallest. And yeah, if you not watch the widest, noob, noob, our future... Noob Noob, you look uninterested in half of these episodes. Uh, yeah, he's always I uninterested. I gotta listen to this piece no, of shit. No, he looks it. I'm sure he's not uninterested, but he looks uninterested. No, I'm no, very uninterested. You have like, is you have like resting, you have like resting bitch face. I'm, <laughs> he is resting dumbass face. I'm here just to make the podcast a little bit better because he's insufferable. He just makes it a little bit more and, racist. And I get tired and then I want to go to bed. He's very sleepy. Yeah. He is very hard for him to stay awake. It's it so the, hard. What is it? The, it jo- is. the Jolly Green Giant? Wasn't that a movie? It is. Just call yeah. like. That's what, it, that's what you. Maybe like. we'll. Ch- we'll change our podcast from like. It's like the Gypsy and the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> Instead of Orq, and uh, and I'll lend you Jenna as your mascot for that episode. Absolutely, I need the post. <laughs> Jenna is a cat. Trouble. What you need to do? What you Jenna's need to in do her is room. Give her a boopsie. She's in timeout. No, she's in timeout you need right to now. Give her a fucking boopsie within the next twenty four hours, or we will defriend you right now. What you should do is when you're, you're going to defriend reviews, me on Twitter, or Instagram. if you don't, if you don't we give don't her a boopsie. Twitter. Give yeah, but you have, she needs it. you have an account. You have an account. Yeah, we don't know that we she manage needs a that. Good old boopsy. <laughs> what you should do is when you're doing your 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 shorts, you should have her with you, and hold her and have her and hashtag cats and lip sync the lip sync the song that I lip sync the song that I use. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yes, and you will surpass us easily. Let Jenna propel you to superstardom. <laughs> Everyone else who's ever been a guest Jenna star the cat. on Our Reviews Will Kill You has rocketed to uh, financial success. Superstar. We could name. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding you. We've had at least five guests on our show who are all monetized at this point and are literally making a living off of YouTube. You are the next star. We're waiting to see it. You just need that orc you bump. I do and have it. I do one day we'll make it. We won't. I do but have. You will. I do have an interview lined up with somebody that I think will at least give me some advertising. It better be Jay Z. No, it's some Beyonce. random. It's some random no name guy, but I hope he gets Tom McDonald, Little Dicky. He's not gonna listen anyways. <laughs> 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 Guys, All you need is to awesome. know is you you keep the orc you bump going, and one day hey. you will be as famous as uh, the Cape. What is the Cape Crusader? Sure. Has your, who are has all the people your, who are famous of because your, of us? Have any of your listeners asked who the fuck is sensibly cynical yet? We don't have <laughs> listeners, so our know. listeners barely ask us who we are, other than they want uh, Noob Noob to buy real real headphones. And they like what kind of whales he likes. I will admit, you guys are dedicated. You guys don't miss an episode. You deserve credit. Seriously. I'm the one who goes on vacations. He has No, no yeah. He, he'll he go on vacations, and I will do an episode without him because I don't care. Yeah, He's useless. That's, that's dedication. I think it's been five years without an actual no, vacation. No, we miss one. When? Name it. Remember when Scott had like a special? <laughs> remember when Scott we set up? Scott. Yeah. Has, has Scott like that. Remember when Scott? You for no, like I did that. Double cheeseburger. From I did that. Uber Eats Hold on, thing. I did that episode for his. Who aren't you? I, yeah. Who yeah, I you? literally and I literally don't know what that means, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I mean, I did it, you know, out of he, a out of the goodness the of my now, so out of the goodness of my short heart, I did that for him, and I I haven't even seen the audio. It's like missing audio. Have you guys talked to him recently? No, sir. No comment or no, sir. <laughs> Both. I d- we have not. No. A little call, a little column A, a little no. column B. So. 
I've sent him a couple nudes, you know, sporadically. He, he sends dick pics and just no response. Responded. You know what? You guys should make that an episode and get listeners the real story behind the breakup. That would get. I don't think anyone downloads. gives a shit. No, that would get. Downloads, I think people though. actually. At this point, I mean, we're getting real close to being monetized, so really? we're just like, oh, we're pretty close. I mean, we just need a thousand. But I thought yeah. you said you didn't want to get monetized. What do you mean? I want free gonna, money. Well, yeah, we want money, and we want no, the money to put I had, back in the see, show. I ha- see, I had you on the podcast, and you were like, well, I don't think we will get monetized or care if we do or don't. Well, the only thing I want to get monetized for is so that we can buy like uh like one of those signs that's like uh what do you call those like a neon like a sign. neon light sign that says oh. "Orc you. I hope All you guys want to do is invest I'm not and we can to... buy costumes. I I wanted him to be the Easter Bunny for a bunch of our shorts, and he uh didn't have the money to afford an Easter Bunny costume. He could just pay for people, the ears, but you know, we just yeah. want to invest it. We're like Mr. Beast. We want to put it back in the show. Well, buy a sensibly cynical shirt. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to go do it I'll today. See. It better be pink. No, you're not. I, I, I swear know. to God. If, I don't know. What, I will wear let it. Me look in, you will wear let me it? Look in, let me look and see my um, cu- uh, shirt colors. I don't even know. What about yellow? I've had, I've had like four people buy stuff. Hold on. So we, not, we used to have a lot of people buy our shirts, but all that money got. Um, all right, unisex, unisex. In the Dogecoin. Oh yeah, we I invested have, a lot of money in Dogecoin, and we lost all of it. I have green. I have neon heather green, turquoise, burnt orange, and banana cream. Banana cream. Yeah, what's like the best color for yellow? A gypsy? Burnt orange, I'll take. Burnt <laughs> and Double down on burnt. Like this is the, burnt. Obviously, this is the this is the turquoise, obviously. But then there's also green and burnt orange, and it makes your guns print. look huge. It does. I must say. Yeah. So what I don't have in height extraordinarily high... flattering on you. What? Make up guns. Have in... <laughs> You're going I, I to the it, gun show. You're I make, going I left make up for and you're going it. right to the gun show. I ha- Listen, Z, I have these chicks on my podcast. I got to look good for them. Yep. And then they're like, how tall are you? You're like, I can barely pass the first grade. No, that's like, why they make. Fine. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. That's why George Washington made the Fifth Amendment. I think it was him. He I who plead, is a midget can't get the puss. Is that what it was? I plead the fifth on how tall I am. Oh boy, yo! That's first of all, the, fit- the hat works, and the and the <laughs> the shirt works. Smile and the smile. That's all that matters. Noob noob is like has gargantuan. You gotta have the. You gotta have trash the, panda. You gotta have the smile that go with it though. <laughs> like, he has the lesbian hair. Yeah, you yeah. have a, I, a charming smile. I'm trying to train to become <laughs> one with my pocket lesbian. If he, we swear, we're going to try to get him to do man bun or samurai bun. It's coming. Am, no, in all seriousness, I am a fan of you guys' podcast, and I do appreciate when you guys invite me on. As you should be. As you should be. And we need more crossovers because we always have a ton of fun with you. We need to have more of these. I suggest we do at least like, hey, let's do one every like one or two months and i think we'll all grow as human beings <laughs> because hey, we let's have judged. a let's have a let's have a britney versus christina debate like current what about age. we do what about we do the the uh the death <laughs> pool of bam margera britney spears and uh who's the girl Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes. We'll do a death oh, pool. Oh yeah, Amanda Bynes. I was a big fan of hers at Nickelodeon. Yeah. Let's do a death pool conversation and we'll see if in one month none of them die, we will have a death pool here and, with sensibly cynical. Mm-hmm. And Z, and you are the all time Z, you are the all time leader in sensibly cynical appearances with six. This will be seven. Woo woo. And noob you go. I'm the winner. Six. 
But I am the number one winner in quality. No, he's not because he doesn't uh, actually contribute to anything. What did you just say? I will fucking cut your little baby muscles off right now. He does. He does. I mean, he has, he's just there I mean, for like random. Z comments. has an episode that named after him. Z just shows up. That was an episode. That's yeah, right. Because so. I called him in to my episode <laughs> to be cause, gracious. Because but like, on his own. Z did not answer when I called him live on our episode. So he does have that strike. Really? Yeah. Did I not yeah, do I that? Called, See? No. I called you, he's right? Remember that, Noob? Noob, remember that? I did. You were recording, yeah, he's Noob, an you're recording the famous episode, Noob Noob on Netflix. And I believe that was <laughs> that was a great episode. And by the way, and I did. I called Z on air and nothing. Yeah, I, I had to take way. care of Anadarmus. I'm sorry. And then you gave us some BS. She had needs. Ah, Anadarmus has He's needs. Too busy washing his hair. Too busy washing my luscious hair. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take off your hat and show us what's underneath? Oh my <laughs> god, that no. is very bald. It's beautiful. No, it's it beautiful. Is. I do oh, have bald spots. spots. I do have bald no, spots. That's why a beautiful right mohawk now. compared to a lesbian. Uh-huh. Anyway, we should make this happen more often. So let's do yeah, it. Yeah, de definitely. This has been a lot of fun, man. And, you know, I should appreciate Should we get it political again. next time? No. Should we say that Anadarmus won this battle? No. Clearly, sensibly cynical wins. Noob Noob falls Robin asleep. Dam. He forgets about Dam. his girl. He doesn't. He can barely defend her. <laughs> it's all about the wholesome American victory. It's all about the USA. Blake. Blake, Blake Lively, uh, USA, baby, born and bred in California, right? <laughs> she's a she's beautiful. Yeah. All American. Let's go with the American girl. Yeah, all American pie. No, she wasn't in that, but I'm just saying she's Ooh. like pie, like cream pie. Amazing oh and beautiful. <laughs> Banana and cream. She's a pie. breeder. Banana cream and she breeder. Makes, and she makes cupcakes. I mean, if that's not American, I don't know what is. She literally makes exactly. cupcakes. That's American as freaking all get out. And That's ours today's... only makes boners. <laughs> Blake Lively makes and those cupcakes are good and enough. babies. <laughs> That's right. She makes babies. She got four. <laughs> Basically, it's like four points to and zero points. And an armist. See, if you look at all these Blake Lively photo shoots from the last two years, her hair is all like crazy and she gives zero. That's what I like about her too, is she doesn't care. Like it, she seems like she just doesn't care if her hair's fucked up during a shoot, then so be it. I like that. She's not like new dude where he's afraid of losing his hair. She has beautiful luscious hair because and she's she just pregnant, doesn't care. Taking him. She doesn't care. She did a, she's, she did. She, um, she posted a picture tonight on Instagram of her wearing, um, Seashells, like real seashells. And I thought that was hot. That's right. So sensibly wins. <laughs> noob noob loses. And oh, um, we wrap it up. <laughs> we love all y'all. Subscribe, like, sensibly, sensibly cynical. cynical. Our views will kill you. We love all y'all. But we are on to the next one.